And against so, oh, yeah. 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 Stack desk here. And finally, from the European LCS's Team Rocket coach, uh, Jacob Yamatokan and Mebdi. And of course, this wouldn't be a world's desk without double lift on the analyst desk. So don't worry, we've got you covered. <laughs> now we'll be hearing more from these guys in a bit. But first, we want to introduce the rest of the team standing by at the Telestrator. We have Aiden Zyrene Moon from the North American LCS, who will be with us throughout the day as well as joining us on the analyst desk throughout the tournament. If we continue around the horn, introducing the rest of the cast or crew, we've got holding down the fort in the interview lounge to get the inside story straight from the pros as well. Crumbs, your mic has died, so we're probably only going to pick it up through Zyrene's mic. You guys can. To my chest. There you go. <laughs> the field was very disappointing. It and lacked, it works together. It lacked a lot of research. So what because when you're running that siege composition like see like cloud nine does which is sieging with Azir and Tristana You need a champion that doesn't need gold. Those are really late game scaling champions But they pick the Olaf now Olaf is not is a champion that needs a lot of gold when you, you it does not work like that You need to go all in with the siege. They didn't do that and then the Olaf was played not very well Thank you for the microphone. You see that it's so extremely safe in this lane right now the crowd is cheering for every successful Feb of NCS. <laughs> yeah, he got one. Some more gold. Is he going to do it? Two at once here. It's a possibility. Whoa! Oh, so good. Right. Mesmerize that Feb. <laughs> Faker who? Watch him see us. <laughs> I love this crowd. This is, I, I think this is actually the best crowd. I've never seen live. These ones dying in this fight. Reckless goes down. Zatai gets a bunch of double. The 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 Thank you so much, guys. Joined here by Balls Elimination from Cloud9 after beating out Fnatic in an incredible game once again. And Balls, I got to go to you first. Finishing everything off with a pentakill after all the criticism you've had to bear with in the last couple of weeks. How did you manage to come strong into this game and even pull this off versus this team? Well, all that Diamond 2 practice. <laughs> <laughs> Able to leverage a single pick into pick after pick, controlling the vision, saving that teleport and coming in. Lemon, can you uh, um, say a little bit more about that, about the team? Because indeed, we never heard the team coming out with anything negative because you were all one united front behind balls. Uh, yeah, I mean... I think Balls has played more solo queue than any other player that's been at Worlds. So like he's been fucking spamming it so much. So he's been fucking spamming it so much. So he's been fucking spamming it so much. So yeah, it's good. yeah, he definitely has. Only on the right side of the map, EDG starts double jungle on the left side of the map. They're gonna get such a big experience lead. And back on Titans, yeah, this is what we see. Four back in the middle lane. Oh, oh, he, he, he flashes. Four Lock it down. Oh, the flash twisted advance. He gets a minion instead there. 25 they, gold? They, well, <laughs> I don't think he killed the minion either, but Pawn, they did get the flash out of Pawn, but again, this is what we're talking about. They like to pour all their resources into the mid lane, finish off one jungle quadrant, and immediately try and go burn. Not everybody can be Dumbledore. Just that honor <laughs> is just true. laid away for a specific amount of people. Just Double doesn't really is work. A, is a god. <laughs> well, I can see Bangkok Titans, Moss gonna check that brush with his- Someday's already attacking the back line. This is gonna be an inhibitor turret. Oh, Godview's trying to look- Oh no! Oh, I said the wrong way! He tried to run! <laughs> <laughs> and this is something we have seen very often for H2K. Let's talk about it after because uh, 007 is getting engaged on. Ryu getting around, he's gonna lock up with the stun as well. Can he get in the range? Yes! 007X, more like... Well... He actually, his scoreline's not correct for that one, never mind. More like, oh, three and four. Ah, really good one, Freak. But bottom and turret will go down all the same. 10 to 8 and kill. Kobe's just dying right here. Much like 007X, and now into the inhibitor turns we go. Finally salvaged it here as Yarn knocks down a few minis. The dragon's here, Lulax a bit too far forward. Box comes down, flashes over the walls. Bit more wave there comes through, and this dragon realizes, wait, I'm alone, my team has left me. Ladies and gentlemen, here's a European special origin on a 22 and a half minute Baron. They're rushing it Sunday down. Home guard. Here so he, comes Sunday. He's going there. in for it. Can he maybe get the steal? He's going to try and do something here. Oh, Score! He's going to look for it. Gets onto that, but Greg is can't move into the pit. Now Peke going to get vision. He needs to leave. He needs to get cooed. Get oh! knocked down by Nandi. No, he can't trace it. The flash has come out. Peekaboo saved him. Pushed him over the wall. Origin.
catch it get Baron and they get away igniting the fans in Paris that is that is a European special there crap not crap I'll go with crap shot I'll take the Dragons giving the gold to put Flashers in this position is much greater. Double lift jumps out, binding, use. No, Zap actually hits. There's the rocket oh. as well. Double lift. Oh. It was like 15 feet of wall there if you made that flash. Wow. That is a flash that will never get over that wall <laughs> from his current position. Very risky positioning there from double lift. Well, KT may try to take the mid lane turret. Marn gonna get found though. He's gonna issue the grand challenge under 007, and then he's gonna grandly run away. Gets exhausted. Whoa, Hi Lloyd comes in. Do they get the kill? Oh, he went the wrong way. Defend their inhibitor. They're actually gonna sacrifice uh, the move up mid and the inhibitor for number four on the dragon stacking to wait have... for number five. We'll see if this corral here works out because they've trapped they him inside their base. Could but Dyrus has teleport. Fight. That's true, but how's the rest of TSM get out here? Oh, they're they're stuck. stuck in the base. There's the explosive cast pushing the turret. TSM. They need Dyrus now. Uh -oh. Dyrus has to be there. They're going to flash over the wall. Everybody burning those summoners. Origin chasing. That looks like they might let Turtle them get split. away. But... That's actually incredibly good shot calling there from TSM because that was the only correct play it's they could make. TSM's lineup is incredibly strong if you can punish members at, running at you. If you at least have leeway. Each other in this lane. Ah, incredibly passive lane. Look at this counter gank that's being set up though. Uh, if okay, never mind. It's not even going to be a counter gank. Oh, it's going to be a surprise attack. Yeah, Aaron Pickaboo could be in a little bit of trouble. You're saying can Morin. he get the skill shot through the minion? Uh, that's the question, right? Pickaboo's going to walk in. Oh, jeez, Pickaboo's going to face it. Exhaust the skill shot miss, so Pickaboo's still out of trouble. Summoner heal saves him though, and that gank did not work out. Santor and loses a ton of health at the same time. All right, we gotta wait. Oh. We gotta go back to the play how it's set up. We saw TSM push in base, dodge the bad matchup Olaf into the Malphite. They did exactly the same thing, but instead of basic Fox, a lot of it now. Reckless is there to buy some time, but the first kill does come Hootie through. Grabbing it, it now. Back. A big knock up, and here comes Hootie. He's already got one on the board. It's a triple kill for Reckless, though. They're turning onto Kid and Kitty, who are trying to run away. Quadra kill for Reckless. Kid, he's trying to get away. Hootie wants to set him up. He's got the broken wings. He's got the stem. He wants the Penta. Reckless is looking for it. He needs to get it right for the author. Oh! Reckless did not have enough ability power to kill him off with the QW, but either way, it means the game. Fnatic up to three. No one could really wreck them. They're going to go in after Dyrus. They pop that Banshee's Veil. Dyrus taking a lot of damage, but they can't chase him into that choke. It's just too dangerous. Turning out to the dragon now. How fast can they take it off? Whoa, Lust Boy. Low health doing this dragon. Fifth dragon. Does it go? Oh, oh, turtle, oh, turtle, oh, turtle, oh, turtle stole the dragon. And Origin denied that fifth dragon. Once again. I can't yes, believe yeah. it. Turtle, okay, I would normally <laughs> agree with you, this. but Wild Turtle has done this so many times this year. I think ASQ is gonna win because uh, C9's base style is really predictable and they're drafting in a similar way every game, so I think they're definitely counterable and ASQ is the better team. <laughs> you lost a little bit of their left there. <laughs> hey, I asked for a prediction. No, thank you guys very much. Congratulations. The first seed for Fnatic, but it took some work, guys. Take it away. Isn't CZ Ty just going to stomp all over balls? Well, to that I tell you, aren't balls the weakest region in all of us? You know, Cloud9, usually from the first game, we learn that they know how to take that weakness from an underperforming balls. Put him in a champion that's super easy and has a huge impact. There's a turret alive, but they gotta be careful. A big knockback, and that's the kill into Morgana. Azir goes down as well, but the dunks are coming through. A double kill for Balls, a triple kill for that's Balls. Nice. Holy cow, the go to get back. A kill. kill for Balls, holy cow. Nothing more needs to be said. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing more needs to be said. Later today, before Invictus, one more game against Cloud9. They get to leave the stage, gather their thoughts. And now they have to come back and play against Cloud9, who have been beaten as handily. This could be quite a difficult match for. Yeah, North America as a region right now is 0 08. 08 in the last day of their group. Will we see 9? <laughs> that was amazing. On that note, we're going to send it down to Dad. Thoughts on that 2 0 day so far? That was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Fnatic is putting on a show here today. This is the Fnatic that we expected to see in week. This is, they're pretty happy with this current set of circumstances. All right, Hooney gonna pick a fight once more with Smith. And Grand Challenge throws down. Smith flashes away from the third rock of the Broken Wings. Hooney will find a oh. but fails the flash. And Smith will be smiling with that one. Remember the soul kill we talked about? That was probably going to happen in this game. It was right there, but it could have been outplayed by Hooney. He had his flash when Smeb did not. He dashed towards the wall, but he failed flash. The thickest wall in the game that when the pressure is on, we see players miss. If you no pressure, you make that flash every single time. But Hooney, after losing that game one, makes another mistake in game two. And again, we keep highlighting how later today before Invictus. One more game against Cloud9. They get to leave the stage, gather their thoughts. And now they have to come back and play against Cloud9, who have been beaten as handily. This could be quite a difficult match for... Yeah, North America as a region right now is 0-8 oh, eight. in the last day of their group. Will we see 9? <laughs> that was amazing. On that note, we're going to send it down to Dad. Thoughts on that 2-0 day so far? That was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fnatic is putting on a show here today. This is the Fnatic that we expected to see in week. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to mourn the death and celebrate the life of the European teams at the World Championship. They brought two good teams and also H2K, and they did very well. They were great teams. They made it all the way to the semifinals, but in the end, the best team won. May they live well in their next life in season six, and we hope to see them back again. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Rest in pepperonis. Rest in pepperonis. Know, yes. I too was very sad when this happened, but somewhere during the last game, Monty just gave me a bit of his favorite drink here, and I feel that really helped drown away the pain, so just for you two gentlemen, I just wanna make sure you get some Kuwait as well, because we can really celebrate this fantastic victory of you know, an all-Korean team, which is fantastic. Yeah, and it you know, really does fill the pattern of Korean teams at the World Championship. Season two, the first season with Korea, five Koreans in the final, Korea loses. Patterson here alongside Christopher Monte Cristo Michaels, Sam Kobe Hartman Kensler, and Mitch Krepo Vorspuls to cover all of today's action between these two titans of a team. Hang on. And, and, yeah, and first things first, we've got something we have to clarify here. Monty, what on earth are we wearing? Uh, this is a hanbok. It is traditional Korean clothing. I, you know, I was just so excited. It's such a great time for Korea right now. Uh, two teams in the final. It's the final we always deserved here at the World Championship. It's like we're watching so an LCK game, yeah. only with better casters. I, uh, oh. oh! Ladies and gentlemen, we're starting early. We're hey, starting early. You know, sometimes, Crepo, they have to give you the chance to actually cast the good teams. So well Welcome to the OGN Autumn Season Final. <laughs> That's going to be a good day, ladies and gentlemen. I, for one, am very excited for it. Let's start by pulling. I think he knows some mechanics on the Navy Freak. We've already been over. He was stacking his team. Yeah, okay. Please, nice. harping on this one little point. Nice. Give the nice guy speed. a break. He's played for like five years. <laughs> <laughs> this is fifth. This is the he was Season 1 World Champion Freak. Yeah. That's where were, you, where were you, you in season one? Uh, casting the world championship. Where were you? Were you talking about the Anivia mechanic then? Pecky probably actually, knew no one played the champion. I actually sucked he was for Fnatic. Actually, actually, season one that world. mechanic wasn't uh, in Anivia back in season one. It got added this right. year. So I don't want to hear your crap, chat. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> <All right>, mate. <laughs> Calm down. All right. Nice banter. <laughs> some, uh, Cheeky. Banter. some witty bats. Cheeky. Rush. We know he leveled it up early. Also has a ward. He does get hit though. He slowed. And he's missing a turret. So here comes Bangi. He's going to flash for the slow, which means Soaz has to burn it preemptively. And he guesses right. Bangi goes the wrong way. Soaz goes back in on the Marin. And the stun is still available. The Q comes in, gets some damage down. But where's his team going to be? There's no one around right now. He's still running away through the wards. Pops summoner teleport. I think that there are obvious strengths and flaws to each of these teams, but I think that the Koo Tigers are going to win this three to one. Oh yeah, so the crowd's with me. Koo, <laughs> Koo, Koo, yeah, that's right. I'm gonna need to reveal Monte Cristo as a liar here. He's talking about how he analyzed these teams the entire week, but I I found your prep, Monte Cristo, and it, it was actually very, very simple <laughs> overall. If you complete a fight here, 
<laughs> That's how he does his prep. Cool. Yep. Yeah? yep, it's true. Five Koreans, therefore they will win. But you're wrong, Monte Cristo. 3 1 for Fnatic. Engage. Look at your mini map. Fnatic are starting to surround Ku under this tower. Yeah, this is looking to be a dive, but all teleports are up for Ku, so this could turn into a 5v5. Gorilla's already gone low. The depth charge has been thrown out. Fate's call has been used as well. Rainover is in a lot of trouble. He's not tanky enough to survive under the tower. Onslaught will keep Ku together. Huni continues to tank the tower. Fnatic have overreached, overbitten, and Ku have struck back. Reckless is down to 200, flashed away. The Smev is looking for at least one more. That's a triple. Otherwise, we're going to fall behind. And that's where Ku Tigers can punish him completely. Oh! Oh, you've got to flash sideways, Febervin. He doesn't get away from the arrow. And an easy pickup for Ku. Now they've even got uncontested time towards this middle lane. You got to hand it to Ku Tigers, though. They are absolutely recognizing where Fnatic is at, and they are going for the aggressive plays. Prey with Ash does this against everybody. Beautiful arrow from right outside of Fog. Flashes backwards instead of sideways. That's, I don't think that's a play Febovin makes in game one, but based on the circumstances of this match, he flashes straight backwards, Ku converts, gets their fourth party. I, seriously, I gotta get my hands on one of those shirts. What's going on? Easy Hoon and Wolf getting in on it as well. Easy Hoon, great performance from him as well. It's got, I mean, some people might think it's hard to be on a team where the person with your spot on the starting lineup is Faker. Well, that was a great interaction there. <laughs> he pulls it off so well. <laughs> well, Easy Hoon, too. Uh, we talk about the last finals uh, that uh, SKT played against the Koot Tigers, and he was the man in charge. The Faker sat on the bench for the entire finals during that third dragon goes over to the Koot Tigers. Yeah, especially since they, they've got the Gragas engage going for them, but that's about it. Yeah. And Koo just has so much feel and kiting potential that fighting around that dragon is a very unattractive option for KT. And the blue buff. Oh, goes to Hojin. Whoops. Hojin. Oh. Oh. We actually haven't seen that much. No. Yeah, it's... It's actually been surprisingly infrequent. One I, I think this oh. is the first one I've seen. Well, congratulations to Hojin. First one to steal the blue from his mid laner. Well, at least he can get cooldown reduction. I know. Congratulations. I really need More tunnels. My, you know. Oh, see, yeah. that's exactly what Kuro wants to do Ooh. to Nagne as soon as yeah. he distorted in. Some okay. context here. F Faker's holding a stock of broccoli, and that's because a fan extended the offer to him and said, "Your hair looks like broccoli." So Faker said, "All right, well, if I win, I will eat yeah, some broccoli." He did he did promise to eat broccoli? <laughs> so there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Stay healthy. The victory broccoli. That's better than the Summoner's Cup right there. That's got iron in it. The true secret. I love how they're explaining the story to you. He's like miming. He's like, this is my yeah. hair broccoli. I will now eat my He's hair. He's like, that's, real, that's some serious iron there. It's that's raw. He's going to do it. That's the kind of minerals you need there, sir. That's what champions eat is your broccoli. That's the difference between a bad, a good, and an exceptional rice player is the amount of broccoli you eat raw. Yeah, it's not a Popeye thing. It's not spinach. It's broccoli, ladies and gentlemen. Pure vegetables, kids. Look at us. So bad, and really this game exploded all the It's looking good for Q. It looked great for Q, obviously, <laughs> bad for SKT, but really, we had the five kills early on, and then Q Tigers got a few kills here and there. See what happened it here really exploded when it started getting to that jungle, get down the vision, and been able to create these picks here. Faker, even oh Faker, God. can flash into the wall. When you have Faker failing a flash over wall, you know something is amiss within the SKT team. They've been making bad calls, mm -hmm. Faker, I can't remember the last time I've seen him miss a flash. Just reminds us that he's human. And if, if there's ever a time for SKT to drop a game, guys, it's now. <laughs> 8,000.